Shalom, Israel. Eliyahu Zerubbabel from the Arkansas Ozarks, um, Northwest Arkansas Ozarks. And I um, just want you all to know that um, I'm here and I'm calling you all to gather together. Come, come out to the wilderness, buy land. We have about 6,000 acres available in two different spots. There's four major gathering points here in the o Northwest Arkansas Ozarks for the gathering of the 12 tribes of Israel on the North American continent. And we hope to start in the northwest corner of Arkansas and then spread across the whole entire Ozarks as we build these cluster communities all throughout the Ozarks for the preparation and gathering of the 12 tribes of Israel. I am calling not for the building of communities. No, I mean, sorry, communes. No communism. No, like, shared land deals. It's about buying your own land and then allowing people to move on like a mobile home park and maybe renting or, or, or uh, servitude. Like they serve you to stay on the property. Um, this is truly what I believe that I've been called to um, do for the body of Messiah. People think I look like Charlie Manson or whatever, but the thing is that doesn't really matter. The thing that matters is that we love one another and um, we gather together like it says in the scriptures. That we prepare the way of Yahweh in the wilderness of the peoples. And um, until we actually do that, then we're not preparing the way in the wilderness. We're just preparing the way wherever we seem to prepare the way. And it says, you can seek the ancient paths and walk you therein and you'll find rest for your souls. And that's more than just Yeshua and Shabbat. It's um, learning how to farm and garden. And it's helping one another and acting and working in the, the Ruach HaKodesh. So... Um, Thing is, a lot of slanders going on about me. Some of it's true, some of it's not true, but all in all, um, most of it's not true, or it's been kind of like confusing. And um, yeah, I've had weed issues and drug problems back in the past, but um, that's not who I am today. Um, I'm still pro medical cannabis, and I still drink wine. Um, but anyways, I just want y'all to know that. He's, Yahweh is going to gather his people, whether people fight against the work or not. And that here in America, we might not feel like we need to gather because things are going so good. You got our, your cars and your jobs and everything. But soon enough, you know, you're not going to have that be stripped away from you, you and your families. And unless we work together, most, you know, those who don't work together are pretty much going to die in the tribulation. And so we're either going to be beheaded. We're going to die by a sword because we didn't listen, or we're going to die by a sword because we did listen to Yahweh, or we're going to survive to the very end time, uh, till the coming of Yeshua in the clouds. After the tribulation, those days, the sun will turn to darkness and moon to blood. The stars will withdraw their shining. Then the sign of the Son of Man be lifted up in the clouds of heaven, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And with the sound of a great shofar, he's going to send forth his angels to gather in the elect from the four winds. Who are these elect? These elect are Yahweh's people who love one another and they work together and they prepared for the coming times. That's the only way they're going to survive. You can't be a one-man island. You can't just go out into the wilderness by yourself and hide out. How are you a city on a hill and how will the nations know that you're his disciples if you're hiding in the wilderness all by yourself with your family? You know, it is truly a call to gather together. Gather to specific regions around the world. I'm talking about the Ozarks, the Appalachians in North America. In South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, uh, Australia, the, all the islands of the sea. You know, if we don't gather together, how are we going to help one another? And if we're not organized, what good is us gathering together? Once again, let's not do communes here. We're not trying to bring a people, bunch of people on. And, um, you know, we all have a lot of different beliefs and we're different places in our walk. And so it can't work unless we're merciful and humble. And we love one another. And, and the sick are going to come. The wicked are going to come. The righteous are going to come. The poor, the outcasts, the widows, and the fatherless. All these people are going to come together. And the rebels will be purged in the wilderness. But let the, you know, the wheat and the tares grow up together until the time of the harvest. And that time isn't yet. It's, uh, but the harvest is the end of the age. And it's happening. And so the tares are being bound in bundles. And the wheat is being gathered into the storehouses all around the world. And these storehouses, I believe, I might be totally wrong, are communities of believers. They're the congregations like Rome, Corinth, Ephesus, Thessalonica, uh, um, Smyrna, Pergamum, Sardis, uh, you know, Laodicea. These were actually congregations. They were communities. They weren't just 
the Hebrew Roots Movement. They actually were organized. And so if you believe in Yeshua and you believe in the Torah and you believe in the New Testament, the Brit Hadashah, um, then why aren't we acting like this? Why aren't we organized like this? Is it because we don't have a spirit or is it because we're just not organized yet? I'm, I'm just calling y'all to raise up elders. We need elders in the body of Messiah. They're going to stand up for the widows, the orphans, the poor, the outcasts, the drug addicts. All these people that are being neglected today. And we organize according to our callings and we help one another. That's it. That's all we got to do is help one another. But be organized. And, and I'm just calling for the gathering and the establishment of shepherds. Shepherds that will raise up to this work, to do this work in North America, South America, Asia, Africa, Australia, Europe, and the islands of the sea. Until these shepherds are raised up, we're just going to be a lot of suffering in the body of Messiah. There, there's a, only a minor repair in the breach. There's this giant.